Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Victoria 2 in which we're playing the mod, or using the mod, HFM. And currently we are playing as the good old Spanish nation, but like all good things that starts with pain with an S in front of it. We've got rebels to start off immediately. But the first Carlos war, and there's also Splendid Isolation. But let's talk about Splendid Isolation first. Enabling this feature will enable Splendid Isolation for the UK. It'll break alliances with any other grid powers except for Portugal, the Ottomans, Belgium, or Japan. So basically, well, I haven't played... Actually, I almost never play HFM, so uh, why not? This looks so beautiful, too. I love it. But, the First Carlos War. <clears throat> the death of King Ferdinand in 1833, and the ascension of young Isabella, only three years old at the time, to the throne of Spain sparked a revolt by supporters of the king's brother, the Infant Carlos. He intends to depose Isabella and establish a separate branch of the Bourbon family, as well as restore the Spanish Empire to its traditional glory. Something libs, or liberals, would say simply cannot be done. He will bring Spain to ruin versus put him on the throne. But Carlism prevails. A new line of the Bourbon families has been established on the Spanish throne, descending from in the Infanta Carlos. To many traditionalists, this signs a rebirth of the true Spanish Empire. Others are not so optimistic. Long live the true king. Hey, who needed prestige? Oh, we're reactionaries now. Oh god. Uh, we have national confusion. Um, all pops in Madrid become 10% more reactionary. Um anything else you really care about? Oh, so the relations between us and two sisters increased by 100%. Oh, that's actually really nice. Oh, we have a third Reconquista. What is this? Due to the chaos of the Napoleonic Wars in Spain, many of its colonies pursued greater autonomy or independence from Spain in 1814. The restored Spanish king, Ferdinand VII, declared the developments in the Americas illegal and sent armies to quell the areas of the rebellion. The restoration was short-lived and reversed by 1820, and Spain has almost lost all of its territories in the New World. Now that Carlos V is the rightful king of Spain, we should begin to once again restore rightful Spanish rule in the New World. Ooh, we get three more infantry, which is fine. We have no infamy in any ways right now, so... Very kind of cool. And reform the local government, which I usually almost always do. Show options, we have cheats, we have the Monet Law. Which, actually, you know what, before we go on... And I'll start doing justifications for going to war with everyone else there. Um, we have the more at law down here, which I'll read about. We just want to look at what we need to get these things done. Uh, reform the Spanish colonial army. Uh, economic reforms in the Philippines. Ooh, the vice royalty of New Spain. Ooh, we got to get Mexico. Oh, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to... Oh, 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 man, I can only see an end goal for this campaign as to destroy America. And so we can get all of what was Mexican territory. It was really Spanish territory, so... Oh, we have state capitalism for an economic policy, too. Um, which one do we have? New Granada, Colombia, Peru, uh, the Vice Royalty of Chile, uh, Rio de la Plata, Call for Convention, Annex Coto Misto, Coto Misto Change Border Policies, Abolish of Fuertos, or fuer Fueros, the Colonization of Fernando Po, and officially recognize some states that don't deserve to exist. Oh, we have Cuba, too, and the Philippines and Puerto Rico. Oh, go figure. And we are, our national value is order. Well, everyone, here we are at, in which now Mexico wants to offer us peace. And uh, before we do that, though, uh, apparently, well, let's take a look. Before we do that, actually, uh, the real Grand popped out. Now they're allied to America, which is not very good for us. That's actually extremely bad. We will need to try to get them unallied. We'll see if we actually can. Maybe we can. Maybe we won't. And that's going to be a huge, huge issue for us. Now, I'll, now I'm already thinking. It's already 41, 1841. When America has a civil war, we're going to have to go in. We're going to have to really destroy probably New England. Probably, honestly, just New York and Pennsylvania and New Jersey and Massachusetts. Those areas really going to have to be destroyed. But until then, oh well. But here's a war score for us. Actually, before we do that as well. Uh, Austria, increase relations because we can. Kingdom of France. We want to be friendly with the French for now. Uh, you guys as well. Oh, and uh, here it is. 57. We had 14 battles. I sent the entire army over to um, here, so... Yeah, this is this is definitely going to be an issue. Um, actually, we peace them out. Does that mean we're at war with America too? God, I hope not. Yeah, you should be peaced out already. So, with that in mind, the FRCA has unfortunately collapsed. These guys are allied with Texas, was, but they're not. They're allied with America. If I go to war with them, doesn't mean we go to war with them as well. Los Altos, eh. Regardless, oh, taking Belize is going to be a problem. What else we got? Mexico under us already, which is actually pretty nice. We can't make the Wallace Royalty of New Spain just yet. We need the FRCA pretty much. Oh, it's going to take forever to get. Oh, it's not good. We're just have to puppet so many people. I'm not sure this was a smart idea going the way we did already, but like, oh well, Mosquito Kingdom. Um, we'll definitely see what happens, but we'll probably go ahead and start just flying on 
Maybe Los Altos. The first of many. Now let's go have a good time with Los Altos, who's currently trying to kill off Guatemala, but I don't think they're really going to succeed now, are they? No, probably not. Ah, the first of many conquests. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Hopefully America does not get involved. And hopefully we can get Texas in our sphere, too. That's good. Actually, can we get... No, can't quite do that yet. Oh, this looks disgusting up here, too. Oh, But we're about to get better armed professionals, which is very nice, too. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. And, hey, there we go. Culture, functionalism, idealism, more research points. Thank you very much. That's extremely, extremely important. As I think I did send some soldiers home, didn't I? Oh, 5,000 right there, just in case. Yeah, I got some extra soldiers going home. They're just good, 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 good. We have way too many horse boys here. We have hussars. Um, I honestly, probably get rid of this division just because I don't like this one. It's not as I think I don't think it's as efficient. Ooh, Texas. Yes, Texas, please. Texas, yes. Tejas, yes. You know that should be part of us, anyways. But whatever. Let's not complain about that right now. Idealism, of course. All right. So what do we have left here when we combine these groups? Two horses. We need. Um, one, two, three, four, one infantry. Alright, at least one more infantry. Which you can't make here, god dang it. Whatever. Um, yeah, our army's not looking very good now, is it? No, it's not. Not at all. Oh god, Guatemala, why? I guess we can help them out in their stupid little war, but it'll be alright. Oh! I guess we're gonna go to war with Guatemala next. They just annexed them all. What the heck? Uh... If Texas doesn't get involved, that'd be great, but there's no guarantee. Um, oh, crap. Well, they did become a puppet. I mean, we didn't want to fully annex them. Whoa. Now, that's kind of cool. I like that flag. That's a really cool flag. Oh, there's opium war going on, too. Look at that. Central American, huh? Well, they have a truce. And a little bit of war exhaustion. Now, everyone. Now, we've gone to war with Guatemala, and apparently Nicaragua has joined in as well, which is kind of unfortunate. I did call in our allies just because... Um... I did not want Texas to join the war with Guatemala. Guatemala was allied with Texas, and I'm hoping no one else intervenes, especially since we're trying to get Texas in our sphere, and their military capabilities is really not good. Afro-American, they have a lot of North Germans in Texas. Also, I was thinking of playing as Texas someday as well, and just using like, the console command, just give us unlimited, a whole bunch of uh, population, just to like get a lot of population, because t playing Texas by itself is probably nearly impossible. So... I think that would be a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below whether I should try that out sometime. Uh, Texas, though. Thank you, Texas, for making the right choice. That's good. Ally with America for now. Ooh, they're only, we're only very cordial. Is that all? Ah, now we have Mexicans here helping us, too. I love it. Ah, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Cool. And we did that. Let's go down here now. And we still do the whole stuff over there, but I'm not going to touch that stuff at all. Are they... Leaving? Okay. Alright, Mexicans, you failed against us. The Treaty of Nanjing. Forced to give unreasonable demands. Most notably, we've been forced to see the island of Hong Kong and abolish the former monopoly of the Cho Hong and 13 factories in Canton. Wow. They just were just decimated there. Oh. Uh, they're rebels in. Oh. Whatever. Uh, I don't really want to get involved there, but we can send our guys anyways over there. It's fine. Um, we're gonna make Mexico really good and make it our vice royalty like really good. I would love to incorporate these guys. What is that? Wait, Louisiana? Is that Louisiana? Louisiana can become its own state? Any other state do that? I can't wait for the Civil War to fire. It's gonna be so disastrous for us. Yeah, look how many guys we have here. That's a social status. Not bad. Not bad. All right, cottage industry, the wool industry, and. Almendrayello has become a hub of activity lately. As more and more little college weaveries are springing up across province, while uh, a folk have always been known as thrifty kind, they're of ready to access some of the world's best wool. Might explain this flurry of activity. Work harder, work smarter. All right, let's see. Do they want to peace out, Nicaragua? What do you say? I do want. We do need to annex them or at least pop them as well. I think we don't have enough war score yet, and it, the faster we go to peace with them, the faster we can go back to war with them, so. Well, crap, we can't do that. God dang it, I hate Nicaragua now. Arr, Nicaragua, why, why, why? Come to Havana, it's fine. Um, can we actually get military access to you guys? Yes, we, yes, we can, okay then. Nice. Oh, holy crap. 
Um, yeah, you might want to help out. I'm, I refuse to lose our new puppet. Much reactionary is good. I will not lose our puppet. I swear, man. Oh, we can command. Oh, that's actually really good too. Oh, we could have done that instead. That's all right. Bitter rain. You want to put that please go ahead. No more pop mill. I don't want to lose prestige. Losing prestige is unacceptable. Honestly, Mexico has it under control. Like, they're doing really great. I love Mexico. Also, like, some of you guys are going to say build the factories. Well, I'm going to build them at least in one place. Because these guys are actually not too bad. So. Uh, we'll see. The old man in the sea. Fishermen off Guam Coast brought in an enormous catch today. His trawl is practically teeming with riches of, the riches of oceans as the anchors in the harbor. And it fairly soon other fishermen are able to repeat this example. The fishing is unusually good in Guam this year, it seems. Excellent. Excellent. Excellente. As I might say so in Spain. These. Oh boy, that's not good. Mado's confiscations in 1843. Needing cash for the state, the Minister of Public Wealth. Ma uh, Pascual Madoz ordered the confiscation of all communal and public lands, and this led to a greater degree of centralization of state power. Properties owned by municipal municipalities, military orders, hospitals, hospices, and casas de misericordia. Charity homes were confiscated and sold to raise funds for the state. Negative consequences were suffered not only by the agents of those institutions, but by the poor villagers who used the municipal commons for the sustenance. Subsidence. When these lands were replaced in private hands, they could no longer use them. Civil guard. Uh, national militia. Civil guard. Wait, there's something about a guard here too. Settlement. Civilizing mission. I mean, I don't mind that one. This one's not bad either. But uh, more education is good as well, though. Um, we're from the Philippines. We're from uh, doing this. Going to on this route might be a really bad idea. Just the way we're going about it. Maybe I should have taken out South America first. Oh well, it is what it is. Um. Wasn't there something about here? About the guard? De La Silva? Oh no. All soldiers gain more militancy. Eh. Eh. What's the worst that could happen in Spain, right? Right? Oh, some of these guys are dead. What's this? Oh, they could have worn Algeria pretty normal. Is this Texas? Mexico, thank you. Actually, I should just use Mexican forces to do this. Yeah, it'd probably be better to do that, actually. Huh. How much extra? Van Halen? Is your first name Eddie? Oh. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Oh, going all the way over there is going to be impossible. Um, hmm. Interesting. I'm not really too concerned about that, so. Give me units. Nice. Cool. Uh, 12,000. Probably I'll go right here. I'll send you down and around. Nicaragua, do you want to give it up yet? No? Okay. That's pretty bad that they don't want to peace out yet. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why they would not want to peace out. There you go. Nice. Oh, oh there's no fleet. Oh, oh crap. Oh, good. Texas. Texas. No, well, screw it. You got coming down here too, then. Ah, oh, I can't get down. Ah, oh, crap. The latter conspiracy. The treatment of slaves in Cuba has become increasingly harsh after recent unrest, culminating in the so-called latter conspiracy, which relates to a method of torture involving tying a slave to a ladder and whipping them until they confess or die. Reformers in the colony have been calling for a change in Spanish policy and an end of the slave trade here. Failure to do so could result in more uprisings, but bowing to such pressure could have serious repercussions back home. Support the reforms. Honestly, it seems like this is probably better to do. Support the reforms. Uh, we don't have that much uprising right now. For the reforms, it's fine. For now. For now. 
Nicaragua, I really don't understand why you, you are doing it like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go home. Why, Nicaragua? Why? Honestly, if it didn't cost so much, I would... That costs 10 infamy. Honestly, we can afford 10 infamy. But can we peace out individually? That's my main question. At a war goal. Uh, I don't think we can, so it wouldn't be worth it. God dang it, Nicaragua. You know what? Honduras here next. It costs 10, but whatever. We can take the hit. For now, maybe. There you go, nice. Bro. Bro, how are you not giving up yet? I don't understand this at all. Second Ethiopian restoration of the Order of the Han Harari? Huh? Jack Steel, I can see that. Are you so Oh, they're... Oh, hello. Oh, these guys taking out the real ground would be so good, too. Oh, boy. Idealism. Sure, Ottoman Empire. Sure. Why not? Tampico. Tampico. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, my gosh. Why are you taking so long? 49.6. It's not good. Do we not have taking war squad, please? Please. Oh, see? 1.8 for me. Not bad. Honestly, we're going to go to war these guys next, and we'll go to war with the other group. Now you do it? Son. Oh, we're on the wrong side. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh... Wow, you guys are looking really god awful. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Nice. Spanish Riff. Yes, please. Oh, yes. Very nice. Uh, probably need a port there, too. Hey, what else we need to build a port? La Cruz, La Coruña. Well, this is what we've been waiting for Spanish Empire of Mexico City. Let's, or Mexico. Let's say, can we add more to the Vice Royalty once we get them all done? That'd be really nice if we could. Oh, wait, the Belize purchase. What's that? Ooh. Oh, if we have higher relations with the UK, we can do that. All right, so what do we have? New Spain was the first of the four vice royalties Spain created in the Americas. It comprised Mexico, Central America, and much of southwestern and central United States. And Spanish Florida as well as the Philippines, Guam, Mariana, and Carolina Islands. Now that Spanish hegemony has returned to Spain, we should organize a territory similar to the old vice royalty, with the exception of the Caribbean Islands. Nice. I... I... Ooh. Whoa. So they should get the cores on here, and if we can go to war with these guys and actually... Oh my gosh! It just got rid of them! It just got... It got rid of Honduras! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, but what about these guys? What the heck? Uh... Wait, why are you not annexed? Well, so much for that one. Um... Can I give lands to that nation or uh, best country? I don't understand why. Why do you? Why do you? Why do you still exist? It makes sense for this group to exist, this group to exist, but not this one. Hmm. Is it because we need to have higher relations? Maybe have an alliance? Hmm. Maybe. Let me take a look at that. Well, everyone, I don't know about this. If we have to, I'll just use like. I'll get rid of them out of our sphere, make them no longer a satellite, release them, go back to war them, make them force us to give their territory. Unless you guys can figure out another way for these Los Altos to uh, like give up their territory, because it makes literally no sense. And we got what? Guad we didn't get Guatemala for free. We got El Salvador, Honduras, Costa Rica for free. So I'm I'm loving this. Oh my goodness! And we're going to war with Rio Grande and I'm forcing these guys to give us pretty much all of the actual Mexican territory. They'll have Laredo left. It's kind of interesting to see what happens, but we did get El Paso and Lano Estacado, so which is actually really, really cool. And uh, yeah, other than that, we're losing a lot of money, but what else is new, you know? Who needed a military? Who needed an economy? As long as we can conquest, that's all that matters to me. Ah, uh, Thomas Johnston. Huh? Dex, would you like an alliance, son? Oh, America doesn't like it that we're influencing their politics. You know, what, are, what else is new, though? Oh, oh, Haiti just split up in two. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're at war with each other. Um. Oh crap! Colombia's in. Oh, that's going to become a, a little bit of an issue for us. But okay, so actually, getting these guys to be really strong—they're already nine. That's just not bad. America's forty-eight. 
we're gonna have to really focus on the, on industry and just stuff like that. But seriously, once the Civil War fires, we we have to take out America. We have to. So once that's gone, then we can probably take out South America pretty easily. So it's only 1844. There's obviously not gonna be any sort of like civil uh, Mexican American War. Hopefully, oh god, hopefully not. So that's definitely a different way I've not played before. And this was recommended, I think, from one of my Discord mods, I think. So, also, if you want to know at the time of recording, I want to play Divergence of Darkness, but every time I download it, it just does not work for me. It literally does not work for me. So, unfortunately, I, as much as I really want to play that mod, it just, it, it's no go right now. It's a no go. It's really disappointing. Calling out diseases, but that. Uh, uh, help him out, why not? We can use a little more money too. After this one, um, we do need some money so we can buy like these territories as well. So you increase relations with those guys for now. God, having oh hello sir. See now that's not bad. Now they're left with here, which I think they. I don't know, but it's, at least to me it seems like they would probably want to join Texas at this point. I could be completely wrong about that. I want to take out Colombia so badly. Uh, Jamaica, um, Haiti. Dominica Republic. America will probably come for Puerto Rico eventually. Ooh. We have slaves here. Um, Venezuela has level 5. If we could get to them first before anything else happens, that would probably be for the best. Probably. You, me, and a lot of dead bodies in Venezuela. What could be better than that? Oh, and the Ottomans didn't want to join us. Auto bodies. Also, I did broke our alliance with the Austrians because they went to war with Prussia, and I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. So... Would you like an alliance? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Honestly, I should probably head to somewhere else um, in the world. Just oh, what? I forgot about the Philippines too. Hmm. Um, so we can get some like oil and such. But let me know where should we, where should we go? Should we go Africa? Should we go Southeast Asia ish? Go to Vietnam? Go to Africa? Other parts of Africa? Or just maybe we'll just stay here? Maybe we'll just stay here and try to beat the crap out of everybody else here. We'll see. But uh, I'm still not doing any of these reforms. Supposed reforms. Uh, but we're trying to invade anyways, and let's grab the other army. Armies aren't great right now, but that's okay. We still have, well, we're doing all right. Overall, I think we're doing all right. Not the greatest, not the worst, so. Afghanistan became a popular the UK? That will never become a problem. Afghanistan has never been a problem in the history of mankind. Never. Especially trying to take it out. Never. All right. Venezuelan Gulf? We love the Venezuelan Gulf. Holy crap, why are you going to war with so many people? Oh, honor? Okay. Well, that's nice. And we don't want to forget that uh, we still have bureaucrats we have over. Actually, well, what is this one? Is this U? Okay. I've been map mode. But this one is what? I or F? It's P. It's so arbitrary. Good. So that one's done. You guys are over here. Alright, so we're not quite done there, which is fine. Havana? I guess we did get rid of slavery, so that's fine. Whatever. Slavery can be very useful, but sometimes it's not super useful. Just depends on the context. Oh, look at that. Oh, choose a trade policy. Uh, if you want to build this piece of we're going to protect the Spanish economy for now. It's fine. I don't care. Oh, well, well you guys showed up. Thanks, guys. Thanks. With the, with the ships here, it helps block it a little faster, but let's go here. Yeah, actually, having Mexico under us, basically. German is Stenstag. It's actually really nice. Um, that just gives us an ally in the new world. Oh, I can't wait to have like all of South America and Central America with us. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. I can't wait. Thank this is, this is, I don't know. That's, I'm excited. As of course, we're gonna need to industrialize Spain. We're gonna get more prestige and stuff like that too, so. Oh, hello. Please don't try to kill us. You're not killing us, right? Uh, we didn't improve relations with the UK, so. Let's keep that up, hopefully. Yeah, that's not bad. So, where are you going, son? You want to help out a puppet? We got to make sure that uh, Nueva España does not do too much there. Like, does not get too much prestige just so that they don't rebel. But, in 1845, the greatest living musicians of Germany fulfilled their project to erect a monument in memory of King Ludwig van Beethoven, born in the city of Bonn in 1770. Beethoven is viewed as by many as the most influential composer of the 19th century. The inauguration of the monuments was celebrated with a great music feast in which Franz Liszt took part. Heinrich King monarchs of the German states and whole of Europe joined the festivity, which was marked by an unbelievable musical mastership, scandals and diplomatic issues between the great powers. Anyway, Beethoven was a symbol of the unresting German nation spirit and the values of liberty and democracy. An invitation for me, how unexpected. Yes! 
We may be allied with the Austrians, but we don't mind the Prussians. Total population is 17 million people. That is not enough. I hope we can just bankrupt them further and further and further. We had to really. Oh! What happened to Texas? God, I hope the Confederates get a lot of uh, cores. I really hope we get a lot of cores. You, you, you did well, Dick, son. You did well. Oh, and the Two Sicilies is down here, too. Even though Two Sicilies, I believe, is having issues of their own. Oh, they did. They did have issues with Sicily down here, too. So. We're actually kind of a strong power block. Us and the Austrian Empire, Nueva España, and Two Sicilies. That's not bad. Ain't too shabby. Uh, uh, no. You better pay it back. I'm killing you right now anyways, but you better pay it back. You pay debts? Sure, why not? <laughs> because we can. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. Hey, eighth. Not bad. Yeah, we need more population. We can get some fertilizer too. That would be very nice. Nice. Discover the cell. We need more uh, people who can read, which would be good. And since we've done that, there you go. And... Are we done with these islands yet? Good. Alright, so let's go over here and get some intellectuals. Bure bureaucrats are nice and all, but still. Yeah, it's actually increasing the bureaucrats, bureaucrats are in there, too. Oh, we've got quite a few Spaniards there, too. That's actually very good. Carabino, 7% Spanish. Not bad. Not bad at all. And the capital will be ours. Ah, that's what I thought. We pay debts. Very nice. And can we purchase bellies? We are interested in purchasing bellies from Great Britain and in integrating it into the United States of Central America. As such, we have sent delegates overseas to London and are currently waiting a reply. Having very good relations with the UK, our alliance with them or being a great power will surely improve our relations of getting a deal. But just in case this fails, let's say, just because it does cost a hundred thousand pounds, which uh, sometimes we can't really afford, so they accept. The UK has agreed to sell Belize to us along with the Federal Republic of Central America. Now it's Spanish. Ooh, okay, so... Oh, we can return cores. Exempt vassals from contributing to our treasury. Our coffers are full, full enough, and members of the cabinet have put forward a proposal of exempting our vassals, not the substates, from contributing to the Kingdom of Spain's treasury. This tax break should boost our relations with them in the short term, but wouldn't benefit the finances in any way. Uh, some of the territories of the vice royalty of Peru. Wait, our citadel are still under our administration. We should... Well, it's under their control. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, honestly, Spanish Venezuela do be looking pretty darn nice. Ah, Venezuela. I love Venezuela. Spanish Nueva. Is, oh, it's just so beautiful. I can't wait. Actually, you can go back. Oh, they're in the sphere, though, but it won't really matter. It is 47, so I think, honestly. Oh! Hey, he's reunited. Can, can we get the Caribbean back as well? Is that possible? So we have Rio de la Plata. So, like, Argentina. We have Chile, which is Chile. Peru, which is Peru. New Granada, Colombia, and Ecuador as well. What the heck? So maybe we can't, but I don't know. Haiti? Haiti sounds like a mess. Maybe we'll take out Haiti. But regardless, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. Subscribe every new... Uh, uh, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And let me know, what else should we do in this campaign? Because I'm, I'm loving this so far. I love having a moderately biggish ally every time we do something fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.